uh, going back to the Kama Sutra, for example, it's the fourth century AD. The language that is used to talk about male male unions, they, they talk about casual relationships. Um, 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 how can a man find another man by becoming a flower seller, hairdresser, or something like that? That's how you can encounter other men or masseur, and how you massage them and gradually test out whether they are enjoying it or not by going slowly up their thigh or whatever. So uh, it is a very graphic description of that. But in that same chapter on male male desire, there is also this thing about two men who are very close friends and totally trust one another, they can enter into a kind of union. So the notion of union is there. From the 14th century Bengal, I found these amazing texts about these two women who are widows and who have a sexual relationship that's divinely blessed. And one of them becomes pregnant and produces a hero who is called Bhagiratha. His name is very well known in India, who brought the river Ganga down from her. Um, now, this story of his birth is told only in Bengal texts, in Sanskrit and Bengali, but only produced in Bengal, not in the rest of the country. But still, uh, it's an absolutely unique text. I think worldwide I haven't found any case of two women producing a child physically by um, uh, this relationship and then the child goes to school and is teased and, and he asks his mother who's my father and they give an explanation. So it also resonates in a very interesting way with later situations. So that's another example of a same-sex union. And then of course in Urdu poetry there are lots of examples and prose of same-sex union casual ones as well as long-term ones and uh, the Rikti poetry that I wrote about depict a sort of marriage. Uh, Rangin, uh, one of the poets who writes a lot of this poetry in female voices, uh, he describes the various rituals, not just he, it's also in dictionaries, the various terms used for a woman's female lover like Dogana, Zanaki, Elaichi, etc. and also the rituals they performed to form these couples and in one case he says this is a marriage among their female companions. So he uses the word Shadi where these women exchange food items and then distribute those food items among their friends and there are various rituals that they perform. Mm -hmm.